In this work-in-progress paper, we discuss the use of immersive virtual reality and augmented reality for teaching material science. Through five different prototypes, we explain the choices we made of using immersion or augmentation. All the systems were co-created in partnerships with students. In this first example, we use augmented reality to teach optical transmittance. AR is particularly suited here as it allows students to hold a piece of material in their hand and observe on a pair of smart glasses the light passing through the material. The smart glasses are rather expensive pieces of equipment, but a similar system could be implemented using a simple mobile phone. The user can interact with the object, look at how light is transmitted through it, and observe the response as it would happen if a light detector was used. In this second example, we decided to use immersive virtual reality to teach the Rockwell hardness test. The Rockwell hardness test requires students to operate a Rockwell tester step by step in a laboratory. Immersive virtual reality allows the students to acquire procedural knowledge by directly manipulating the different parts of the tester. The key technology used here is 3D hand interaction, which requires a rather sophisticated VR headset, so we used an Oculus mounted with a hand motion capture sensor and we use the lip motion. To use this system, the students need to be on campus to gain access to the, um, the VR equipment, which nevertheless remains significantly more affordable than the Rockwell tester itself and requires less supervision and uh, space. The software provides additional information on how to perform experiments, giving an insight on the principle of techniques and how instruments operate in the laboratories. The third example is another immersive virtual reality system to learn tensile testing. Tensile testing is most often carried out at the material testing laboratory as it requires a very large piece of equipment. The main purpose of using immersive VR is to transport the students in the testing laboratory to make them realize the scale of the equipment and to allow navigation within the, um, the experimental space. Grab the metal sample and move it to the stage. Touch both upper and lower grip to fit the sample. Now the sample is in the stage. Press the blue button and wait the machine rotating. Confirm the stretching grid and click start. Watch the stretching process. and the diagram of stress and the strain. The first prototype is about teaching crystal dislocation. Here, immersive virtual reality transports the learners into the world of the very small where they can visualize the different types of dislocations at the um, atomic level. Head movements are used to rotate the crystal to observe its 3D structure and to control the speed of the animation. An affordable headset, we use um, the Google Cardboard and the mobile phone is all that is needed for easy integration in the teaching curriculum and for use in class or at home. Let's take edge dislocation as an example. Please turn your head to the left to observe the continuous illustration. And please nod your head to conduct the next step. After completing all steps, you can explore the environment and conduct other operations. Finally, this fifth prototype is for teaching fractography. The difficulty for students is to understand the relationships between the visible phenomena on the surfaces and the materials in visible inner structures. We decided to use augmented reality to make the experience as tangible as possible, allowing students to hold a material or an object representing the material in their hand and to trigger a fracture by selecting the stress force and the stress point on the virtual object's material surface. This system only requires a mobile phone and pre-labeled cards. In the future, we aim to be able to directly recognize different types of materials, making use of the system possible in class, at home, or even during field trips. And we can choose the speed of the fragmentation. We choose slow. Uh, we also choose the magnitude of the force. First, we choose strong. Opposite is the crack here we can see the, here the sound effect. Users can observe the internal molecular structure of different materials by zooming in on digital objects with two fingers, we can see it. 